guys, welcome back to Krista and Seabrewell. I'm Krista and I make vegan recipe and lifestyle videos, so if that's something you're into, consider subscribing and liking this video. So today we're gonna be using half of that crazy dough recipe to create two medium-sized pizzas. And we're gonna be making a garlic Alfredo pizza using the Hot For Foods Alfredo sauce, um, Yoko's mozzarella cheese, because I tried it a couple weeks ago or like a month ago and I was absolutely in love with it. Um, and I just wanted to see if it actually melted. And then we're also going to be using the tofurkey Italian sausage just because I love that stuff. Initially, we were going to use like a tofu crumble, like the same as um, the recipe in Aztec Vegan Spaghetti Sauce. But that was just so much work, so I was like, we're, we'll do that next time. And then, yeah, so essentially we're going to be making a garlic chicken pizza. Um, Bullwinkles has changed their recipe where they like shred it up in their pizza so it's just a hassle for me to like pick it out and plus it's not dairy free so I might as well just make it myself because I am trying not to eat as much dairy or anything like that because yeah I kind of veered off of that after two years of um living a plant-based lifestyle so I'm trying to get back on track and you know just because it's pizza does not mean I need to consume the cheese but yeah, so stay tuned and then we're going to make some pizza and stay tuned until the end because um, we had some people over for dinner and they tried the pizza. So you'll get my, their opinion and not just my unbiased opinion. So yeah, let's go make some pizza. So to start, you're going to want to use half of that crazy dough and then split that half into two separate pieces so you can make two different pizzas. And then once you have that all done, you're going to want to press it onto a floured surface and roll it out with whatever you have. I had a sake bottle and then put that piece onto a pan while you soak your cashews for your sauce later. Um, in the meantime, you're going to want to slice up your veggies. I use sun-dried tomatoes and rehydrated them in water. Then I sliced up some green onions and tomatoes along with some white onion and the red onion into dices. And I also cut up some mushrooms and the tofurkey sausage. Once that's all done, you have all your veggies prepped. And then you're just going to want to make your sauce in the meantime just to set those aside. Um, the sauce, you're going to want to use the mushroom sock, the cashews, apple cider vinegar, lemon juice, onions, garlic, and then your seasonings. I used Italian seasoning, salt, pepper, and nutritional yeast and just blend it all together and taste it at the end just to make sure it tastes all good and season as needed. Once that's all done, you're going to want to add your sauce to your um, pizza and then you're going to want to add some of your Miyoko's cheese, crumble it all over a place and then just add... And nutritious. <laughs> There's like garlic chicken. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty bomb. Right? Not too shabby. Pretty good. I like it. The dough's kind of weird, but. Flavor is good. Some dried tomatoes. Do I smell it? I'm hungry. Okay. It's really good. <laughs> That's how I made the garlic alfredo pizza. If you like pizza or garlic alfredo sauce, consider liking this video and subscribing if you haven't already. But yeah, the, the recipe was pretty good. Like, I'm actually really surprised and I'm happy that it turned out pretty good. Everyone liked it for the most part with the exception of Chris, but it's just Chris. And honestly, I think it's just the word vegan um, puts people off just... I don't know why, but we'll get there, guys. We'll get there one day where people are like, ooh, vegan? Let me try some of that. 
But yeah, so stay tuned for next week because next week we're going to be, um, I believe we're going to be making some pumpkin twists, which I'm having, pre I'm prepping right now. It's also going to be my two year anniversary of following a plant based lifestyle. So we're going to be doing a little life update on that. So, so yeah, I'll see you guys next week. If you guys have any suggestions or anything like that, comment down below because I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you do make this recipe, Take a photo, post it on Instagram, and tag me in it or so, wherever your social media is. It's mine is Krista and C. Burrell, so you can find me everywhere. Um, but yeah, I love seeing your guys' recreations, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. This is a perfect mixture of um, vegan with a hint of crunch. Hint of crunch? Not much crunch. <laughs> Try crunching it, it doesn't crunch.